Hey hello, welcome or welcome back to Cottage Gate. Today I'm going to show you how I made 20 cm cheetah Lee. Step 1. Follow the pattern for doll base number 2 to crochet the body. I used number 5 chunky yarn and a 6.5mm hook. Check out the PDF patterns linked in the description below. For step 2, we're going to crochet the ears. Let's start with some brown yarn for the inner part of the ear. And since the brown yarn I wanted to use was a size 4, I doubled up on the thread to match the yellow number 5 yarn. Start with a slip knot, then chain 4. Turn and crochet only into the top loops of these chain stitches. Single and half double crochet increase into the first stitch. Half double crochet into the next one. Then slip stitch into the last chain. Lastly, chain 1 and cut your yarn. Now for the outer part of the ear. We will be crocheting into the back loops of these 5 stitches. With the light yellow yarn, make a slip knot. And pull that loop through this very first stitch. Chain 1. And make a 2. Half double crochet increase into each back loop of the next 4 stitches. Finally, chain 1 and leave about 6 inches of yarn before cutting. Repeat this pattern for the second ear. And sew or weave them along this middle seam. Now with the ears done, let's move on to the last step, needle felting cheetah lease features. First, let's prepare all the wool we'll need. Some light yellow for the base, white for the muzzle, and dark brown for the eyes, nose, and mouth. When needle felting, I usually start with the largest feature. In this case, it's cheetah lease snout. Create an outline with your yarn and felt in a bit of stuffing within the outline to add some volume. Continue felting in an inward spiral, covering the stuffing in the middle. Then felt in an outward spiral to add another layer. Here's how it should look after adding those layers. Next, 
Let's add a base of wool to fill out these ridges on the doll surface. Cut up strips of the same light yellow yarn and pull the threads apart to turn it back to wool. Focus on areas that have the features. This will help when felting those smaller details later on. And since Cheetah Lee has so many markings, I pretty much had to add a base layer to the whole head. Next, I felt it in the nose. Start with a ball of wool and slowly felt it into shape. Add a small piece of wool at a time to add some volume when needed. Next, add the philtrum and mouth. For thinner lines, I would usually roll up tiny amounts of wool and felt bit by bit to make it precise. To make the lines cleaner, especially with contrasting yarn colors like these, simply felt over any stray black fibers with some white wool. Another detail that I wanted to add was to make the ears look as fluffy as the reference doll. With a short piece of thread, I simply felted it through the ears. Now for the eyes. I actually had to redo these eyes about three times, since the different cheetah Lee sizes have varying proportions when it comes to the features, it took a while to gauge the correct eye placement and size for this 20cm version. By this point, I was already nearing three hours into needle felting, so for now I just tried to trust the process and moved on to felting the markings, like with the nose and mouth. I started with only a small amount of wool and felted the marks into shape. After finishing all the other markings, I went back to work on the eyes, adjusting it bit by bit. One last detail that I had to add are these white borders, or highlights around the eyes. By hour 5, my eyes had probably grown tired, so I decided to continue the next day, but sadly I forgot to film. Anyway, I realized that the eyes just had to be a bit more oval, so I made those small adjustments to his eyes. And after adding this chain, we finally completed 20cm Cheetah Lee. What other dolls would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Like this video if you learned something new. And maybe subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you on the next one.